Yes, in the Rosedale case, I talked personally to George Blackwell, the caretaker, salt of the earth type of guy. George had been doing this caretaker role for quite a number of years and was a trusted employee, a very substantial character. George, bunch of kettle rustlers been poking around again. George Blackwell's responsibilities on the ranch or the property were making sure that the cattle and livestock were secured. I'll be up if there's trouble. Right. Cattle rustling is something that seems quite foreign to the modern era, but uh, it's a problem that's still alive today. In Australia, high-tech rustlers use anything from tractor trailers to cargo planes to steal cattle. There hadn't been an occurrence on that property, but the caretaker was kind of aware and sensitive to disturbances, making sure that he was responsive to anything that might have gone down you know, on a particular evening. Suddenly, George Blackwell was disturbed by the fairly substantial breakout of the livestock. Blackwell notices the prized mare is extremely spooked. Animals seem more sensitive to their environments than humans, so it's not unusual that animals would sense high-pitched noises or electromagnetic effects. <laughs> then, George sees something in the distance. He could straight away determine that he was this uh, unusual dish-shaped object that was travelling along at extremely low altitude. He at first sort of thought, well, it must be some sort of aircraft. George sees that the object is heading down to this larger paddock. Bearing in mind that there had been some local instances of, of livestock theft, he obviously was obliged to investigate it. He could see that the object was traversing the property and he realised that if the object continued in its trajectory, it would collide with a 10,000 gallon water tank. The object that he could see was clearly not a conventional aircraft of any type that he could recognise. The level of disturbance in the livestock was pretty extreme and he knows that uh, by just getting onto his motorcycle and following the, the path of this object, he'd be able to get a clear um, line of sight as to what was going on in the actual uh, property. As Blackwell rounds the corner, he makes a startling discovery. He's met with one cow, just obviously in a highly distressed state, frothing from the mouth, he just wanted to get out. Blackwell comes face to face with the object he's been tracking. The whole cattle rustling side of the, the equation had gone out the window. Uh, he knew he wasn't dealing with anything related to a cattle rustling operation. Blackwell moves in for a closer look. The object had moved down and actually appeared to come to rest on top of the water tank. He was dealing with a an object that appeared to be roughly 25 feet in diameter, uh, approximately 12 to 15 feet in height. And on the bottom of this was a black band or a spherical band underneath. It was drawing up water through some sort of 
tube-like extension from the bottom of the, of the object. There's all sorts of speculation about whether or not this has to do with some sort of fuel cycle or something like that. Given what transpired in this encounter, uh, there was a, a major connection with water. George Blackwell begins to feel uneasy. He's starting to become extremely unsettled, really quite agitated. Uh, he had problems with the watch. His watch uh, had stopped, so there was some sort of almost seemingly electromagnetic kind of disturbance going on there that affected his watch. The object suddenly emits a high-pitched squeal. Uh, the fact that the object was creating such a noise and a, and a trembling certainly would make you physically tremble as well. And then, Blackwell loses control of his body. He felt that, that he had turned into a, like a, a plate of jelly. He literally almost lost all kind of uh, stability in his muscle system. There was certainly a factor going on, not just psychologically, but physiologically, where the object was physically affecting him. The object suddenly rose up uh, to about 20 to 30 feet. At this point, there seemed to be a sudden blast of hot air. continued off into the distance and kept going uh, until it was out of sight. And here's poor George, totally stunned, standing at the side in the dark with this extraordinary event that had just played out. The next morning, Blackwell would check his 40,000 litre water tank and find it was completely empty. Investigators would learn the night before the incident, a neighbor saw a bright, colorful object in the sky around the same time as George Blackwell's sighting. Soon after the incident, Blackwell complains of vomiting, diarrhea, and severe headaches, symptoms suggesting exposure to radiation. But soil samples gathered at the site reveal no evidence of unnatural contamination.